What's up everybody? Dorian Penaglu from DorianPenaglu.com and I'm going to be showing you before and after edit on how I edit my photos for this kind of look. So right here is the before and after of this kind of boring, uh, I guess it's a muffler or something that I found out in the woods when I was walking around. And this is what I made it look like between the two. So let's go ahead and reset all of the settings. Alright, well, first thing I do, get rid of all the highlights, up all the shadows. Then I hold Alt on the Windows computer or Windows PC, and I take the whites. And I'll take the white slider just until any data breaks through. So that white stuff was this. So I like that. It's a good desired look we have from here to here. I really popped the image out. Now let's do the same thing with the blacks. We're going to hold down Alt. And we're going to do just about until we see some dark, a little bit more detail than the whites, but just about there. So now with this, we're going to uh, change the exposure on the image. We're going to go up just a little bit to bring the histogram over more towards the middle. We want it to be from the middle, kind of like a little bump, a little hill in the, in the histogram. I kind of like that, the way that it looks. Let's go add some contrast. We can add some really like bold colors to the images. As you can see, the, the leaves added a lot more uh, like refinery. And now we got clarity. With clarity, we're going to go up maybe, yeah, 10 looks good. We don't want to go too far on the clarity because then the image will really look overdone. So now this image was taken midday, so it's kind of an overcast time. And we're going to want to change it so that it looks more warm. We can go cold, as you can see, cold, but it really takes away from the warm color leaves. And we don't really want to do any of that. So we'll go a little bit warmer right about there. This looks like natural rust colors. <coughs> as you can see, the colors look really natural. The leaves look really good. So I like, yeah, I like the warmth. I mean, we could even go up a little bit more, but right now the colors all still look very natural. What we're going to want to do is go down here to Lens Correction Slider. We're going to select the Enable Profile cor Corrections. And then we're going to also remove Chromatic Aberrations. When we remove these two, just make sure when you go into Profile Corrections that it actually recognizes your lens. Here in this situation, I used the Canon 24-70 to 70 at 1/58th of a second at f5.6 at 800 ISO but I shot it at 24 millimeters which is the widest that lens goes and you really will see a lot of kind of like embevelment in the in the lens so you want to just do that so it flattens your image out and then we're going to do a little bit of sharpening we want to do about let's do about 60 sharpening just to make the image a little bit sharper and then we're going to come down here to the luminance slide and we're going to try and equal it to 100 so we'll go to about yeah, that looks good. About 37. That's close to 100. You always want to keep the amount of sharpening and the luminance around uh, 100. So now the next thing that I did with this photo was I added a gradient filter. And I, I did it for the background to kind of underexpose the background. So that your focus was really on the muffler thing itself. So looks good around there, about 38. So we'll use that. And then I also did one of these circle radiant filters on the muffler itself. And as you can see right now it's underexposing for the value that we have of 32. Or it's overexposing for a value of 32. But what we want to do is invert mask. And then this will invert just what's inside of the uh, inside of the circle. So we want to go a little bit underexposed here on the muffler itself to about minus 29. And then the last thing that I did for this image was I added a, a darker vignette to kind of pull you into the center of the image so your eye really has somewhere to look and then venture on to the rest of the stuff in the image. I think the only thing that I would do additional to this is maybe up the exposure one more to about 58. And as you can see, we went from this image here that's really, really dull to some vibrant, nice colors in the second image. So let's see the big one from here. We can hit the backspace or the key underneath the backspace, the backslash key underneath the 
backspace button over the enter button and it'll let you toggle between the two edits so this is the before and this is the after I hope you guys enjoyed this edit from here to there and if you want to download this image it's going to be available at dorianpeneglue.com have a good day see ya